I'm going to make this Pikachu hat. I used medium worsted red heart yarn and many different types of hooks for the different types of stitches here. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I have the link for this double crochet hat listed down below. Just go down below in the description in the video, click on that link because I already have a video that shows you exactly how to make this hat. I made this one for my five-year-old, so I used an H hook, and then the one that was already finished, I made for my older 10-year-old, and this one I used an I hook. You just change the hook size. So um, this was 11 double crochet, two double crochet in each double crochet around, and then when you get to the chain three, which is right here, <clears throat> you'll do your chain three, and then two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet. Then in the next, after you do this round, this round, this round, you'll do one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet. Then you'll do, or you'll do, one and then two, one, one, two, one, 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 and then two. So those are all your increase rounds. So you have one, two, three, four, five increase rounds. Once you get past your increase rounds, then it's all double crochet the rest of the way. So then it's a chain three and all double crochet, slip stitch on top of that chain three at the end, double crochets, double, double, double. And then there was a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 rows and like I said this hat I did a video for this already so um, I didn't want to recreate the video again so all you have to do is go right down to that link click on that I'll um, teach you how to do this hat and the link for the um, video and the link for the written pattern so I'm going to show you how to get started on all the features and what um, hook size to use and what yarn to use I'm going to show you how to do the cheeks here to get started. You're going to need red yarn, a G hook, G. Work the magic circle. If you're unfamiliar with the magic circle, there are videos. I have a video, two videos on how to do the magic circle. So you need to yarn over three fingers, wrap around, take your hook and grab that yarn, slip, do a chain one onto that circle, work five, single crochet into the magic circle. Now for the two cheeks, you're going to do this make two, but also this is exactly how you're going to make the black eyes. So for the black eyes, you're doing it the same exact pattern here. So make two cheeks just like this and make two black eyes just like this. So you have five single crochet, pull your, pull your tail, slip stitch into the beginning single crochet. Another way to do this is you can do a chain two. You're going to slip stitch. Another way to do this is you can do a chain two and work five single crochet in the chain two and then slip stitch into the beginning single crochet. So you can do five single crochet in the in the chain two the chain two so in the second chain from the hook you would work your five single crochet that's another way to do this um, I like to do the magic circle because it closes that um, center pretty tight so you're going to go into the next stitch here your single crochet and then you're going to work two single crochet in each single crochet around so each one gets two for a total of 10. So two, 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 all the way until the end, but you need to have two in each of the five 
for a total of 10. So meet me till the end there. So you're at the end here. You're going to slip stitch in the beginning to end this round. Then you're going to work one single crochet and then two in the next single crochet, two. This is an increase. And then you're going to do one in the next, then two in the next. And then repeat that all the way around to the end. So one and then two and then one and then two all the way until the end. You're at the end here, you're going to slip stitch in that beginning stitch. Then you're going to add black yarn. Just grab that yarn and pull it through that loop. And then slip stitch in the next stitch. And then slip stitch in the next stitch. And then all stitches around get a slip stitch. So slip stitch all the way around until the beginning. So you're at the end, slip stitch in the last one, yarn over, pull through. So it looks like this. And then you're going to take your yarn needle. You're going to take all your ends and weave them in. You're going to hide it the best you can. And then when you um, are finished, you can attach it, attach it to your Pokemon hat. hat. <laughs> now we're gonna get started on the ears. And on the ears, you're going to start with a magic circle and an H hook. You're going to work a chain one into the magic circle. And then you're going to work five single crochet. Or you could work a chain two and work five single crochet in that second chain from the hook and then slip stitch in that beginning single crochet. Once you have your five, you're going to close your circle. Slip stitch in that beginning single crochet. And then you're going to single crochet in each stitch around. So each stitch gets two single crochet. So you'll have two in each, which is a total of 10, and then you're going to slip stitch in that beginning, single crochet. Okay. So now you are at the end and you're going to work a single crochet in each single crochet around until you get to the very end. So go all the way around till you get to the end. So then you're going to slip stitch into that beginning stitch and then you're going to start adding your yellow. So take your yellow, pull it through the loop and then slip stitch into the next stitch 
and then single crochet in each stitch around. So single crochet all the way until the end here. Then you're at the end and you're going to slip stitch in the beginning and then you're going to work a single crochet in each around and then you're just going to repeat that. You want a single crochet in each stitch around and now you're working in continual rounds and what that means is that there's going to be no slip stitch at the end of the round. You just keep working around and around. You can keep track of your rounds by using a marker. So once I get to my right where I started, I'm just going to work a single crochet right into there and just keep working around. And then I'm just going to work in continual rounds around and around and around. So it depends on how long you want it, but you can work this, this is up to about 11, so you can work this all the way to 11 or 12, depending on how long you want it. This since is for my younger daughter, I might make it just to 11. I think with my other one, I made it, she wanted hers longer and I made hers about 13 rounds. Once you get to that last round, you're going to take it and then you're going to slip stitch it like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stuff it with either yarn, yellow yarn, or um, cotton stuffing. So now um, another step, these are the ears. You can sew those on at the end. Another thing is the little eye pupils. And I did that with a G hook. So a magic circle you're going to work a chain one and then five single crochet and that's all I did right in the magic circle five single crochet and you're going to make two of these you'll sew them right onto the black eyes so you have two and then three And then once you get to the five single, you'll close your magic circle with your tail. And you're gonna make two of these. Slip stitch in that beginning, single crochet. That creates your pupil and then you'll Sew it right onto the eye just like that with your yarn needle. And then once you do that, you're gonna start putting all the pieces together. You'll start sewing everything on. However, in order to do the mouth, I ended up using my yarn needle with black yarn here, the mouth and the yarn, or the mouth and the nose. And take your yarn needle and then you can sew it right on. So when I got to that part here, I measured where I wanted it. I'm gonna show you how I did it on the other one. Is I took the yarn needle and I just sewed it right on. So I started there. I'm gonna show you an example. And right in the center where I wanted my center. I sewed a line going this way and then I went back and this is just an example. And I sewed another line going this way.
So it kind of looks like they're crisscrossing like that, but I made it a little bit bigger and then I kept going overlapping it with my yarn needle and kept going back and forth like this over like three times, three times, and then I went down farther and did it a few more times. Then when I did get to the mouth, I sewed a line from here to here to here to here, and then to keep it in place, I took my yarn needle up and then went back down and secured it by just going up and down just a tiny bit so it overlapped this and kept it secured in place. Then I went and I started sewing everything on. I sewed my black eyes, sewed the white onto the black, then I took black yarn and sewed it by using my yarn needle and going up and down and then up and then back down and back up and back and then when I went onto the side inside as you can tell, I went back and forth. Then I went, weaved in and out, and tied it right here. And then on here, I sewed it. I just went back in and out all the way around, just in and out, in and out, in and out, all the way with yellow, yellow yarn. And then I went, weaved it in and out and secured it. And I made sure I stuffed it so they would stand straight, standing straight up. So that's basically it. You just make these. Sew them on, sew them on. You can use your yarn needle and weave it in and out. And then sew these on right on top. The placement is about here and here, about one, two, three rows down. The placement here is about one and a half up, cheek, cheek. And I like to have my chain three in the back. And then my eyes were maybe like two rows up from the cheeks and then the nose and the mouth is in the center. So basically that's how you make the hat. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already.